How many times do you use your phone every day? And what do you do with it? Do you check Facebook and Twitter? Do you read the news? you message your friends and family? Imagine if you could stop for 30 seconds and use your phone to save an endangered species from extinction. My name is David. I just finished my PhD as of yesterday. Uh, <laughs> the purpose of my research is to detect the presence and monitor the presence of animal species by listening to the sound they make. Many animals are difficult to spot because they are elusive or they only come out at night, but sometimes they can make a sound that can help us identify them, especially when they are looking for a partner or when they are in danger. For the past three years, I've been searching for a critically endangered insect called the New Forest Cicada. It's the only species of cicada we have in the UK, and it was only ever found in the New Forest, the national park we have right here at the doorstep of Southampton. It sings with a very loud call, but it's so high pitch, it's around 14 kilohertz, that most adults will really struggle to hear it. But guess what? A smartphone has a microphone that can detect sounds to up to 20 kilohertz and above with no problem. So I've developed an app that can identify the presence of the cicada around you. What we ask from our users is very simple. As you walk around the forest, you stop and take a short recording for 30 seconds. In the app, I've built a machine learning algorithm that extracts two frequencies, one at 14 kilohertz, like the cicada call, and one at eight kilohertz that we use to filter out noise. These two are used as features in a classifier that can tell you immediately whether you're listening, we are more likely to listen to a cicada, another insect, or something else altogether. Does this work for cicadas only? Absolutely not. For the end of my PhD, I've extended this method to work for uh, all singing insects in the UK. There are only about 30 species or so. But there is also a great interest in this for birds, for bats, and you'd be surprised, but also for animals, large animals like elephants and rhinos. For now, we've tested it up in countries where the cicada is still present, and it works really well. More than 3,000 people have downloaded the app, and we received over 10,000 reports from all over the world, mainly from the New Forest. In the New Forest, unfortunately, the cicada has not been rediscovered yet. So please join in and help us find it. Thank you.